First question is from Jeremiah D. Godfrey. What are some suggestions on how to get better at stabilizing the barbell for a front squat? Mm. Now, do you think when you think of stabilizing, do you think it's uh, more challenging left to right or forward and back that it's rolling off their shoulders? I'm wondering exactly. Mm. I'm wondering if they're talking yeah. about the shoulder part. That's yeah. to me that, that when I when I or I struggle with it or have had clients struggle with it, it's not stabilizing the bar left or right. It's the it's elbows. Di- yes, yeah, the elbows yeah. dipping forward and the bar wanting to roll. Now, forward. when you do your front squats, are you doing the like the Olympic lifting? Yeah. Are you crossing style? it like or a body, bodybuilder? No, yeah. no, I, I do, I do fingers. Do? Yeah, although, see, I do the cross. I did cross when I was competing, right? And I was like, like had no mobility, mm-hmm. so and I was lifting heavy. But now, yeah, right that's now, the direction I, I was going to go. Yeah, all the mobility. Yeah, was. I've got the shoulder mobility to be able to do it with where my fingers are on it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I had to lift with my arms crossed like that when I was competing in a yeah, the muscle two, bound. The, the, so I, I do the cross. It's just always how I've done it. And I, as you squat, this is how I used to teach my clients because that would be hard for a lot of people. As they go down, the bar wants to roll off. Yeah, because you kind of naturally want to come forward. Yeah, and so body. what you got to do is as you drop into whatever the hole or as you squat down, lift your elbows at the same time. So you have to create that that tension mm-hmm. of lifting the elbows while while you're going down. And if you can do that, the bar tends to stabilize pretty well. The second thing I would recommend, and this is for any exercise, any exercise you have issues with stabilization, go way, way lighter, mm-hmm. way lighter. If this means you just use the bar, uh, then so be it. But you have to, you, your stabilization is usually the, that's usually the threshold that tells you how much weight you can use. It's not how much weight you can use. It's how, how much weight you can use while maintaining uh, good stability. Well, I have another tip in, in relation to that. So sometimes when you see the the bar dip like that, it's at the bottom when they run out of like ankle mobility. Yeah. So mm-hmm. if you get, if you're doing like one of the things that happens when, because you're in a front squat or like goblet squat squats like that. Uh, and when you're loading the front, you, you tend to be able to get deeper into a squat, which is one of the great values of it. But you still are going to have that limiting factor if you have poor ankle mobility. So a lot of times what you'll see is somebody dropping down in a front squat and at the bottom of the squat where they they run out of the ankle mobility, then the body starts to come forward yeah. a little bit. And that's what makes the bar dip so down. So lift your heel a little So bit. lift the heel yeah. up, you know, so yep. you can you can get into, you know, stand on some plates or squat shoes. Now, of course, you're always going to hear us talk about like address the ankle mobility, yeah. right? Yes. Don't, don't just crutch it. But for the time being... If you and, and that's how you know if that's your issue, right? So if you go with an elevated heel and all of a sudden you have no problem with the bar stability, it's an ankle issue. Yeah. Yeah, th- this too, in terms of like, I like squat shoes for this reason. Like I, I like that if that's an issue for you, but also too, going back to like a lot of people just having not good mobility in their wrists and, and their shoulders as well can contribute to a lot of, uh, you know, some dysfunction in, in the overall lift of it. So uh, to be able to address that, even if you need to you know have wrist wraps or even like towels wrapped around mm-hmm. the bar and then try it that way. So you actually have something solid to grip, to pull. So you bring your elbows up and you're conscious of that as you drop into it would help as well. Yeah, and the front squat is a quad. It's more of a quad dominant uh, squat than a back squat anyway. So lifting your heels, this is from a bodybuilder perspective, okay? Lifting your heels just makes it more of a quad exercise anyway. True. So I know I know guys, great ankle mobility. They could do a front squat without elevating their heels. They like to elevate their heels on a front squat anyway that's because me. it hits the quads more. Yeah, that's that's me. A lot of time when I got goblet squad, I, you were in here. I, you, you and I did them. Right. right. Yeah, and yeah. I, you saw me, I, I lifted my heels because exactly what you said. I mean, my focus when I'm doing a front squat or goblet squat is I'm shifting it to the front anyway. Mm-hmm. So by elevating the heels, I'm only going to do that even more right. uh, where I won't do that on a back squat. Back squat, I'll be in my chucks. 